I'm Bill Baker, founder of TechWorks. And let's just go through some of the major features of the new touchscreen encoder. First is auto publish. When you select to record or to record and broadcast live your video, the video is automatically recorded on the video hard drive built in the encoder. When you're done recording and you press stop, the encoder then automatically displays the auto publish screen. Here, you can touch yes or no to auto publish. If you touch yes, the video is automatically uploaded or transferred from the encoder to one of TechWorks broadcast centers. When the video has been successfully transferred, the encoder sends TechWorks smart online management software all of the video information pertaining to the video that was just transferred. The smart software then updates your HTML or web pages with this new video, it updates your RSS feed, and it sends an email to you and the three other email addresses. The smart online management system can even send a post to your web server. Now this post has all the information pertaining to the video and you then can use it to build your own web page or to even send out a mass email. When you enable the auto stop feature, this automatically stops your recording and or stops your live broadcast. You can set the auto stop to stop the recording or the live broadcast from 1 minute to 24 hours. You can also enable or disable the auto publish feature. So after the auto stop stops the recording, the auto publish feature automatically publishes your video to the internet and onto your website. Now when you press the start button and you start broadcasting and or recording, you will see the duration of your broadcast or recording and you will even get a countdown to when the auto stop will automatically stop the recording or the broadcast. Using the auto stop feature and the auto publish feature, the new touchscreen encoder is truly totally a one button device. The touchscreen encoder allows you to insert a graphic over the video. Now this can be used to insert a bug or a logo over the video. This is normally used by the major television networks. In the bottom corner of their video feed, they usually insert their network logo. Now you can do the same thing. You can use your company logo and insert it over the video, which then brands the video to you. The touchscreen encoder can use any ping, bitmap, or JPEG file to do this. The touchscreen encoder can even key out a particular color to let the video come through. So all you need to do is take your logo, put it over a particular color that's not in your logo, like red, blue, green, and then go to the logo setup in the touchscreen encoder. You can then select any color that you want to disappear just by touching the color on the screen. Automatically the color will disappear and the video itself will come through. Now you can also change the transparency of this logo. All you have to do is touch the slide, slide control at the bottom of the screen and slide it left and right to change the transparency. The touch screen encoder has a built-in waveform monitor. Now this is something that you need if your video cable run is very extremely long, let's say over 200 feet long. If it is, then you can touch setup and then touch setup video on the touch screen encoder. It then displays the video and the waveform monitor. On the left, you can use the slide bar to select any line of the video that you want to be displayed in the waveform monitor. Using the waveform monitor, you can then adjust the contrast, brightness, chroma, and hue and tint control to set up the video level exactly like it should. So basically, if you look at the waveform monitor, anything white should be just at 100 and anything black should just be at 0. The touchscreen encoder has a built-in 7-inch touchscreen on the front of the encoder. Now here you have full control of the encoder and you don't need any external device. All you need to do is just touch the screen. However, you can add a mouse or a keyboard and an external monitor to the touchscreen encoder or any combination thereof. The touchscreen encoder is that just a touch screen and you don't need an external keyboard which means anytime you select an option that requires the use of a keyboard 
an on-screen keyboard will automatically appear. And all you have to do here is just touch the particular letter that you want. And this enables you to make any change on the encoder without the external keyboard. If you need to change your compression profiles, if you need to change your compression profile, just call or email TechWorks support team and they can instantly change any and all of your compression parameters. So for example, let's say you want to change the audio compression from mono to stereo. Just call us, let us know you want to make that change, and we will instantly do it. You don't have to read a manual or spend hours trying to figure out how to do this. The touchscreen encoder has several different audio inputs. It has a left and right line level unity gain input. Now this unity gain input has no adjustments on the encoder. It's designed to be used with an external audio mixer and an audio person that is constantly writing the levels and this level will not be changed by the encoder. It also has a left and right line level input that does have an adjustment on the encoder. Now this is designed to be used with, well, let's say a, a small mixer or an MP3 player or some sort of uh, VCR device and you can adjust the level at the encoder itself. It also has a mic level input. Now this is designed to be used with an external microphone so you can plug a microphone directly into the encoder without having to have an external mixer. And of course it does have an adjustment on the encoder. The touchscreen encoder has a composite analog video input. Now this is compatible with any standard definition video. It can accept NTSC, PAL, and CCAM video which means you can use a simple camcorder that you can go down to your local retail store and buy or it can accept any analog composite video from your professional TV control room. The touchscreen encoder has the ability to share the video drive on your network. So on the encoder if you select share then any computer on the network can see any video on the video encoder. This gives you the ability to copy or move files to and from the encoder's hard drive. You can use this feature to move a video or copy a video from the encoder to your computer which then you can make a CD or a DVD 